After watching this completely, you will be able to build your own RC plane. Well, I am not a super expert. If I can do it, certainly you can also do it. And in this video, I have given the complete instruction. Uh, what is the dimension of wing or whatever the body? So I have given the complete details so that it is easy for you to just uh, see that and uh, do it. So make sure you are going to watch till the end so that you can learn how to build a RC plane. And uh, if you want to just understand how it is built, then this video is certainly going to give you an idea how exactly the RC plane is done. So some of the most important things are uh, the cuttings and uh, again since it's a uh, styrofoam we got to be extra cautious in cutting and polishing. So once we do polishing that's when we actually get a great finish. So initially we are going to just uh, remove it using the cutter and then the process is all about uh, polishing using the uh, sandpaper whatever we get. So make sure you're going to uh, get this kind of shape and after that uh, you just polish so that you're going to get the finishing so that it's uh, getting a aerodynamic shape so this is how uh, the shape is going to look so this is something that uh, where uh, we have almost come to an end of uh, uh, creating one of the wing So the beauty with this uh, RC plane is like uh, uh, this is a glider so which can actually land smooth and uh, the flying is also not very difficult. Again I said I am not an expert in flying but I was able to really enjoy flying. So this is the carbon fiber rod which is uh, 6 mm thick and it's 1 meter long. Now since the uh, wings are wide, uh, it needs to have the right uh, support okay, so that it's not going to break. So that's where we are going to use this carbon fiber rod and it can be ordered from uh, multiple websites. So it's available on Amazon and it's also available on uh, Robo. I'm just going to give the link of all these products in the description as well. So uh, make the uh, exact center point of it and then uh, cut it in the V groove shape. Okay, so once you cut it in the V groove shape, you will be able to uh, keep that uh, over there and you will be able to uh, fix it. Now for fixing purpose, uh, we are going to use uh, Arol date. So that really helps in uh, uh, keeping this uh, intact. And make sure you are actually following the uh, measurements whatever I have given so that uh, it's easy for you to understand and uh, do it by yourself as well. So now we are just going to connect uh, both the wings together. So applying around it makes it uh, really strong and uh, it gets the right uh, support as well. So this is a self-adhesive uh, sticker uh, which is available on Amazon or you can also get it from uh, usually the bike and the car uh, stickering shops which will be there. Now the reason for putting this is it actually gives more strength uh, and whenever if it crashes so the body of this is not going to get damaged. So that's where we thought okay let's uh, see this. Now after applying this we really understood that okay this is really strong it really makes it strong and uh, a very effective as well. So uh, initially it takes bit of uh, time to learn how to stick it uh, so I think uh, in the initial we got a bit of bubbles but that is something that could be removed as well. So we are com uh, covering the complete uh, body with this. So 
So now we are going to prepare the fuselage. So this is the dimension. It's uh, 70 centimeter by 12 centimeter, and we need uh, two uh, piece for this. So this is a carbon fiber rod with uh, 14 mm uh, thickness, uh, and it has an inner dia of 12 mm and one meter long. So this gives the complete support for the flight. So now we are making the groove to fix the uh, carbon fiber rod and uh, make sure that uh, the arrow data is applied, uh, applied well so that uh, uh, it does not uh, shake. And one thing to ensure here is uh, the carbon fiber rod that is there, it should be parallel to the ground. So it should neither bend down nor up, nor up. So one should really make sure that okay, the carbon fiber rod is exactly parallel to the ground or exactly parallel to the body of the uh, RC plane what we are making right now. So again, we are just going to uh, apply the tape on this. So this is the horizontal stabilizer which is around uh, 14 cm in width and 60 cm long. So we have to follow the same process the way we did for the wing uh, where we just have to cut the cut using uh, the cutters and later we have to polish it to give a aerodynam aerodynamic shape. So you could see that okay it's in the right shape now. And this is uh, for making the uh, vertical uh, stabilizer. Now this is how the finished product looks. Now we need to cut this to make the elevator so cut it completely till that 5 cm marking and also we need to make sure there is a slight clearance so that uh, it can actually uh, go up and down very well now here uh, the cutting should go till the point where we have put the uh, uh, tape so make a slight groove so that uh, the elevator can go up and down So do comment below if you have already uh, uh, played with RC planes and uh, did you make uh, one by yourself or something and what is your experience? Well, I really enjoyed uh, building this RC plane which I almost took around 16 hours to build it but the process was really uh, enjoyable. So now our elevator is ready and we have to fix this on the uh, carbon fiber rod. Again, I'm just going to make a V groove and uh, fix it on top of it so again uh, the same rule here so we need to really make sure that uh, this is exactly parallel to the ground or parallel to the uh, body of the rc plane what we are doing So it might roughly take around 5 to uh, 10 minutes for the arrow date to uh, hold it uh, firmly. Now we are making the holes for uh, uh, putting the rubber band as a support to hold the wings. So that's what we are making the hole right now. So these are uh, bamboo skewers. So that's what we are using right now. And also if you see uh, on the fuselage I have made it slightly wide so that the wing can actually fit correctly. So that's a servo motor what we are going to fix. And this part actually comes along with the servo motor itself.
and uh, please do make sure uh, these things are fixed uh, correctly uh, because if by chance uh, while flying if they come off then you will not be able to control the flight and there are high chances that uh, it might crash so uh, now the servo motor is placed exactly uh, in the middle where the uh, cutting has been made so that's actually a extension wire what we are using and this is the y connector so that uh, uh, two servo motors can be connected to a single channel so you could see that okay we have one servo motor here and one uh, on uh, one more on the other side so let's fix the a uh, vertical stabilizer So this is the servo motor for the elevator. And uh, fixing the servo motor for the radar. So let me show you how exactly the connection has come. So using the extension wire, I have got it till the fuselage. So we are going to use a 2200 uh, kV uh, brushless motor in this. So that's how it looks and uh, we're just preparing the uh, body so that uh, uh, we can mount the motor on top of it so that's where our motor is fixing right now so this is how we actually uh, fix the wing to the uh, body of the flight So this is a six channel receiver and uh, this is uh, the electronic speed controller which is connected to the motor and that actually goes uh, to channel uh, 3. Now this is a 2200 mAh battery. I'm going to show you completely how exactly all the servos have been connected uh, with the diagram so that it's easy for you to understand. So, so this is the six channel uh, receiver. Now you can see. The motor is connected to channel 3 and uh, the elevator is connected to uh, CH channel 2, uh, radar to channel 4 and uh, the wings are connected to channel 1. So this is how exactly the connections are uh, done. So fantastic, now you have learnt how to build a RC plane, now let's fly it. Yeah, yeah. So please comment below what do you feel about this uh, project and uh, if you have any questions related to this just comment below and uh, I'll try my best to answer them. So I hope you enjoyed this. Do you also want to build a great YouTube channel with the help of your passion, skill or talent? and earn money from that then just click on the link below in the description to register for my free youtube masterclass in which i am going to share three most important secrets to build a great channel thanks for watching please do subscribe and hit that bell notification and select all notification so that you always get the notifications about the new video see you in the next video